Hi everyone, this is Aaron at HitchedForFun.com. Today I wanted to give you an update on a little change that's happened in the design of the camp locators. The original camp locators came with the clear tubing all the way to the bottom. The wiring would come out to the side um, and so you could easily run the wire outside the pole. I've made a video on how to cut the wire and re-splice it so that you can run the wire down the center of your pole kind of in this fashion, slide it in, put a bolt through the pole, through the camp locator to secure it in place. That was the old method. Now um, there's an updated version that we're selling now from Pyramid uh, that has a black base on it and the wires coming out to the side. Um, you can no longer run the wires through the center easily. So what ends up happening is this would slide into the pole and you'll have the wires temporarily coming out to the side and then need to re-enter the pole if you want to wire you know, the pole with the wire going through the, the center of the pole. So that's what it would take. And I'll, I'll demonstrate that here, here briefly of, of how to drill a hole for that. But I wanted to make sure everyone is aware of the change. No big deal. Um, that gives us some abilities to connect some other accessories. So here's the camp locator and they now have a down light. I'll turn like this so you can see there are lights on that. That will allow you to take the top off of the locator. Back up there. And you can actually slide it down the pole. This would be inserted in and this would go down and rest right there on top of the pole like so if this were inside. Um, then you can connect your wires externally to this night light, which is really cool to help illuminate your uh, USA flag or whatever flag you're, you're flying on, on your pole. Um, and then I'll show in a moment with a hole drilled into the side of the pole to allow the wire to go back inside. Or you're, you know, there's no problem for you to run the wire on the outside. And I use the pins that would come with the pole to route the wire. So just kind of personal preference, however you would like to do it. All you need to do is um, slide it right over the camp locator like that and put the cap back on like so after you've put it on or, or, or taken it off. Real easy. Really, really neat feature. Um, it comes with its own pigtail that you would connect into the wiring that comes from the camp locator. They also sell this uh, down light Y cable. Which I recommend that you're, you plug in the power lead here and then this um, allows one wire to go to the light and the other one can go to your camp locator and then down the pole to one, one power source. So I recommend getting the Y connector if you want to run the down light and the locator at the same time. Um, they also make this nice insert that goes through the downlight. And fits perfectly in the pole as well. And then you could run the power from this straight down the outside or through the method I'll demonstrate in a moment through the inside of the pole. So uh, just gives you some more options, not very hard to do. Uh, simple simple drill and you're ready to go whole system runs on 12 volts um, one more added feature really like that one so I wanted to show it to you all right now I will demonstrate how to drill the hole into the pole first thing you'll need to do when you get the camp locator um, is to and this is what I recommend drilling a hole through the pole and the base portion of the the camp locator and affix it with a bolt and a nut. That's just to keep it from flying out of the top of the pole and winds. Um, you could put it on there and tape it if you want to, but if you want, I recommend putting a, a bolt through there so it's nice and secure. All right, um, what you're gonna wanna do is make sure that your bolt hole is at least an inch from the, the top, uh, maybe a half inch down so it's not right at the top so it's less likely to uh, to break out and splinter the pole. 
Next, I wanted to show you what it would look like with the newer design of the camp locator, the down light, and the Y connector all assembled. Um, I'll come up closer to the camera to show you. So you can see this was slid over the top. The wiring for the down light is attached here. The wiring from the camp loader comes together in this nice Y connector, which comes down to the one clean wiring. This is the perfect setup. This would be set inside the top of the pole, like so. The wiring is then ready to run down the exterior of the pole and run through every one of the pins going down. And again, for information, I recommend that you buy the additional three pins to help keep that pole from ever collapsing. They're real snug, but just in case, you're adding more weight to the pole. And so I just think it's good, good insurance to do that. So this would be set up to go down the exterior of the pole like so. Um, and again, remember, I recommend putting a bolt through here, through the pole, through the locator, and you know, securing it in place. This is super bright. I'll give you a close up. I didn't bring it very close before. Two lights on that. So it's good to keep Old Glory illuminated um, out of respect for our flag and our country. Um, or you can just leave the camp locator on. Once again, the other option, if you don't have the camp locator or you don't want to use it that day, you could use this topper with the pole and uh, the downlight as well, just to illuminate your, your flags. All right, so that's the standard setup, and now I'm gonna show you how you would modify your pole with the new wiring to allow you to have the downlight, camp locator, and all the wiring going down the center of the pole. This section will still need to be outside, and that's okay. It's it's basically, it's too much, in, too much um, equipment here <laughs> wiring to fit inside the pole so it's better to have it exterior to the pole and this new black base i think is actually quite a bit stronger than the other design and it fits real nice and snug on top all right let's get to modifying the pole so now we have our pole presently it just has the one hole for the bolt and of course the camp locator would be inserted like that with the hole drilled for the pole you need to drill a hole in the side of the pole, as small as you can, yet allow the wire end to come through the pole. Okay, step number two you gotta remember, hold your locator up to the side of the pole and make sure, of course, that the hole that you're gonna drill is below the length of the camp locator because you're not gonna be able to feed the wire through that inserted end. So a couple things you need to make sure, make sure you do that. Drill the hole down below where I'm pointing with my finger and I'll drill that hole and then show you afterwards once it's installed. Then your clip for your flag would just be slid up right below that hole where the, wires in com where the wiring is coming out and that should give you plenty of room to run uh, your three foot by five foot flag. All right, now I've drilled the hole on the side of the pole and notice I did it perpendicular to the bolt hole. So it's over on the one side. Um, I just think it's better to kind of break up that um, stress to the pole because you're weakening it when anytime you drill through it be, be aware of that but I did the one hole on this side there's the bolt hole notice that I drilled the hole below where the camp locator would insert in the pole there you go a little bit a little bit closer there so you can see that so there's room for the wires to come out and slide that back in so that when the down light is connected with this connector, this leaves you a little room to have the wiring come out of the pole, connect to here, and then run down the inside. Again, you don't have to do this. It's, you know, totally fine and originally designed to run down the exterior of the pole, but some people don't like that and they want it to go on the inside. So this is a way you could do that to reduce a little bit wind of uh, wind resistance. You do end up with, you know, a, a fair amount of wiring at the top, so. What I would recommend is once it's up there, just run a couple wraps of you know, um, electrical tape around it just to help hold it close to the pole. Um, actually, and you, the best thing to do would be to kind of wrap it like that so your pole flag could be able to move around without being 
caught on the wires and stuff like that and, and disconnecting so it'd be good to keep it up out of that way but i run the swivel for the flag right up to the base of that hole and then then you're good to go all right here we are with the top of the pole with the camp locator attached down light installed and the wiring coming right here from inside the pole so here's the wiring coming out of the center of the pole connected with the y connector all like that the bolt i didn't do it for this demo but the bolt would be put through this camp locator right there perpendicular to that hole works great and then all you got to do is maybe run one wrap of tape around that to help secure it in place that way uh, your flag can stay illuminated at night without any trouble you can still turn the camp locator on and off with the remote even though the light is still on and powered and there's still room for your flag to be uh, unfurled and, and flown below this so that's the way to modify it i hope that helps you out gives you some options at least um, you, you can you can do a lot here hope you have fun and that you enjoyed this video if you liked it give me a like in the comments below and i'd appreciate it all right thanks again bye bye